Ladies and boys and girls, in this video we are going to do this 3D collage animation in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. First, let's create a new composition. Set the width to 1080, height to 920 and duration to 10 seconds. Change the background color to black. Hit OK. Time to bring in some visuals. Import a lighthouse image and drag it to your timeline. Click the 3D layer icon to make it 3D. Adjust the position and scale to place it front and center. Let's add some depth with the camera. Right click on the timeline, select new camera and hit OK. Next, create a new null object. Right click new null object. Make it 3D and use the peak view to pattern the camera to the null layer. This gives us smooth control over the 3D space. Add a door image above the lighthouse. Make it 3D and tweak its position. Next, import a building image, make it 3D, reduce the scale, and place it to the bottom. Duplicate the building, pressing Ctrl D or Command D on Mac, and position the copy to the left. Add a bridge image on top by right click precompose. Then double click the preco and adjust the scalar position of the bridge. Drop two vehicle images below the bridge and adjust the position and scale. Flip one horizontally to make this vehicle move to the left to right. Set position keyframes at the start of the timeline. Move a few frames forward and shift the position for a subtle slide effect. Select both keyframes. Hit F9 for easy ease. Then copy and paste the keyframes to loop the motion. Now go back to the main comb and we are ready to animate in 3D. Select the null layer, open its position and set keyframe for the Z position. Adjust the Z value to zoom in on the lighthouse. Move one second forward, set another keyframe and adjust the Z to zoom out. Add an elephant image. Make it 3D and position it to the left. Duplicate it, flip it horizontally and place it to the right. On the null layer, easy is both keyframe and extend the keyframe to 2 seconds, tweaking C to zoom out slightly. Next, let me add a mosque image. Make it 3D at the C position to bring it forward.
Also, let me add this church image, make it 3D and place it to the right. Also, add this temple image, make it 3D, place it to the left. Also, as you can see, when the scenes fills up, I am adjusting the end keyframe of the null layer.
So let me add some final touches. Now I'm going to add a cloud video at the bottom. Make it 3D and just scale and push it. Create a solid layer by right click new solid. Select this color picker and then click this vibrant blue color. And place it at the bottom of the background. Add green leaf images to fill this background space. So make them 3D and tweak the C position. Let's add some test. Use the type tool to create a test. Precompose this test layer. And make the comb 3D. In effects and presets, apply a drop shadow to the test precomb. Let me adjust the opacity, direction and softness. Set a pushing keyframe, place the test down. Move a few frames forward and shift it up. Easy is the keyframes. For a fade effect, set an opacity keyframe as 0 in here, move forward and set to 100. Add another building image and make it 3D and place it in here.
duplicate this building image and position the copy to the left. For a playful touch, add a wiggle effect to any image. First, open its position, hold Alt or Option on a Mac, click the stopwatch icon and type wiggle open bracket 3 comma 3 close bracket. Apply this to any images you want to add a subtle shake effect. Yeah, and that's it ladies and boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like, share and subscribe and I will see you on my next video.